All right, so it is August the 13th, 2016. And I finally had enough uh, of an opening to actually be able to take my 8-inch Dobsonian telescope out. And in this video, I'm going to be doing some, what they call, I guess, star hopping. Now, the quality that you're going to see is not really good at all. And that's because I was trying some stuff out to see what my phone is capable of with the 8-inch Dobsonian. So I was... Everything you're going to see in this video was taken with my cell phone camera using a software app that is available for Android called Camera uh, V or FV5 or FV-5. It's an Android app. It's in the description below if you want to check it out. It does cost money if you want to buy it. Um, but anyways, it allows you to control your phone's ISO settings and shutter speed and all that greatness, like a DSLR camera, kind of. I just wanted to see what, what my 8-inch Dobsonian could find and what my camera could see with an 8-inch Dobsonian. What you're going to see is some interesting stuff. I think the focus might have been a little messed up on... Uh, some of the uh, footage that you're going to see. But anyways, I'll start you out with a little video footage of the moon that I took with my 8-inch Dobsonian telescope. And I was using, I believe I was using a 25 millimeter, the stock 25 millimeter eyepiece for viewing the moon on August 13th, 2016, a little after 10 p.m. on the east coast of the United States here in Florida. I hope you guys enjoyed the video and stay tuned for more videos that I prepared to do. If you guys have any recommendations on an affordable DSLR camera, if I haven't already got one already, feel free to leave them in the comments below. My budget is around a little under 400 bucks. So if there's like a starter DSLR camera that will get me into an entry level for uh, astrophotography with my 8 inch Dobsonian for maybe taking pictures of nebulas or stuff like that um please let me know in the description below i'd like to hear some of your comments if you're if you're a photographer or if you're into astronomy and even if i already have a camera i'll probably consider maybe checking out what you're what you recommend again my budget is around under 300 bucks but i can push it to the 400 dollar range but no more than 400 bucks even if it's used it's still fine if you guys have a, a camera that i can find used that's under that price tag it's pretty, gonna be pretty great if you can help me out. Thanks, and I hope you enjoy this video.